now I'll find light crystal. I wonder what it's for. Well, here's the base for the crystal we saw. But I hey, hardened world tree sap. Hi, Sandy. There's something up there. That did it. Read it. And you are the offer back the seas back. Ah, yes. It was believed that you are calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Right.
Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between rows. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. So, it's a plan of yours. Can you guess it? I know no, of you. a place that... There's an abandoned temple in Midgard that a fellow dwarf converted to his personal storeroom. Packed it with all sorts of treasures he collected during his travels throughout the realms. Throughout the realms? Which ones did he go to? What did he collect? Fafnir was a, shall we say, aggressive collector of magical artifacts. The more he acquired, the more he desired. There was no realm too dangerous, no relic too hazardous. He once ventured deep into Niflheim for a whetstone of all things. Huh. I bet that was quite the whetstone. Does this story have a point? Yes, it does. I just happen to have an entry stone to Fafnir's storeroom. You might find something useful in there. Neat. Thanks, Sindri. You're very welcome. Oh, and uh, if you find that whetstone, well, it sure would be nice of you to bring it to me. <gasps> I'd advise caution if you're heading to the storeroom. Last I was there, all manner of nastiness had taken up residence. Won't your friend be upset if we steal all of his stuff? Oh, <laughs> no. No, not at all. He's dead. I think. Oh, sorry. Sorry. These things happen when one travels from realm to Careful! My shop's right here! We heading into that building? Yes. You think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Hmm. I'll keep thinking.
Came here on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war. So many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood. Another crystal. Just give the word. Huh. What now? Ooh. We got most of it. Stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. Why are we going up when what we need is all the way down there? Think. Well... The chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. I just leave smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to. Oh, I get it. Bird. How are we going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip? Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck then? You are welcome to suggest a different one. What now? Hold tight. seems ill-advised.
It only fell a little ways. We get to it. We cannot. What does it say? When time itself is deserted, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the orders on just. Winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? Do I know that one? Winter lad! Quiet head. Got it! Boy! House! Sumo! Bob! Gotcha! Atreus, that word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well done, lad. Write it again. Thola. What? The energy's lifting the platform. Keep writing. Thola. 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 Head. How is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well, turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them. Always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. <sighs>
Having a little fun, you big grump. Oh, well, there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But Trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. Jump. Really? Come. Do not panic. Why would I panic? Whoa. I have you. Right, you know that. Well, well, well. Good. We should keep moving. Credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that, Head. Never leaves my mind. <laughs> 